Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about postcards, postcard marketing, door hangers, and honestly, just uh, better ways to market and grow your lawn care landscaping business in 2020. I'm super excited about doing this video. We got uh, just some simple stuff we're gonna show. We're gonna go in depth to show you guys some great designs that some of you guys have been using, and then also share with you guys a little bit more about how our postcard has been working over the last few years. Uh, I know it's a little early for these kind of videos, but honestly, with lawn care landscaping, you gotta be ahead of the curve, six to eight weeks out in front of us. And so I thought it was a really appropriate time to talk about postcard marketing right here, right now. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So if you're new to my channel, I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. I run my own lawn care landscaping business up here in Detroit Metro. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, doing the whole deal. You guys know how it goes, right? All right. So hey, really quick, this is actually a two-part video series. Uh, I actually have part one on my channel. And then your boy, Jonathan with Florida Turf Pros, he's actually going to do a, a video of his own, sort of like a part two. I was actually talking to him earlier in the week and I said, hey, dude, you want to do a video collab and talk about marketing? And he goes, I was actually about to drop a video uh, this week on postcard marketing and just marketing in general. A lot of tips about Facebook and uh, digital marketing, which is really cool. So if you guys, uh, when you're done with this video, run over to Jonathan's channel, uh, go check out his video. If you want to learn more about marketing and uh, just advertising and how to get more business, a uh, really good guy, man. He's got a great YouTube channel, really good business down there in Florida. Um, when you go over there, have some fun with me. Say something funny in the comments like Brian's Law Maintenance sent me here or something like that. So um, that being said, let's talk about this. Um, one other thing while I got it is that uh, thank you so much for all the new stickers. So many of you guys have been sending me stickers, solos, landscaping, Mitchells, uh, so many to go through. I'll be putting them up on the uh, tool chest here uh, that's just out of frame. Uh, so thank you to all of you guys. If you want to send me stickers, I got uh, our PO box in the description down below. So super appreciate you guys. This is actually a really cool video because uh, we're going to keep it short and sweet. We're going to talk about the blocking and tackling, right? We're going to talk about postcard marketing and door hangers. Um, I actually have a lot of you guys that I asked on Instagram to submit me flyers or postcards that you guys think are really good. So I want to share mine, which I think is a B, B plus, you know, A minus. Okay. I'm a little biased. Um, that's the screen one here I've been using the last few years. Um, but I want to show the stuff that you guys have been using as well. So as we go through these slides on the TV, by the way, appreciate all the feedback about the studio, um, with having the mic over here offset. So it's not, you know, getting in the way of the shot. And then by the way, zooming in a little bit so you guys can see the TV more, uh, shoot me some thumbs up if you guys, uh, you know, appreciate that. Thank you for the feedback. So uh, you guys can see the landscape and chill. We've been a lot of uh, chilling around here lately because there hasn't been any work to do. So uh, the weather is nasty. We're getting a huge ice storm and that's the whole deal. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, on the big screen, we got the first stop is Harrison Property Management. Um, I love my boy Harrison down there. I think North Carolina. Uh, he watches all the videos. Great postcard here. Now, here's the deal. A lot of folks are like postcards and marketing and door hangers. And is that still effective in 20, uh, 2020, whatever word right now? And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's, it's the blocking and tackling. You know what I mean? It's, it's not fancy, you know, but, uh, you know, running the ball, if you will, it always works. You're always going to get your four or five yards, right? Uh, you're always going to get your first down. That's, that's why it's called the blocking and tackling. So postcard marketing in my, um, in my view, what I do is I call it the blitzkrieg, right? I have my yard signs. I have my postcards. I have my Facebook ads. I have my trailer. Uh, I have yard signs. If I didn't say that, like we, we do a little bit of everything, but the thing that I get the most phone calls from is still my postcards and my flyers. I can pass out these like clockwork. It's like chum in the water. If I pass out a thousand, you know, they say one to 3% return. Literally I get 10 calls. I get four or five estimates out of it and two or three new customers all the time. Not fancy. Takes a little bit of time, but these are the blocking and tackling. Now here's the deal. You can get these made up really cheap guys, local print shop. You can get these made up on, uh, you know, um, Vista print, those kind of websites, you know, a hundred dollar design setup fee, 250 bucks. You get 2000 of them. Um, you're, you're, you're in business. My friend, Brandon, you guys know Brandon. Um, he actually got like 10 to 20,000 postcards last year, which is just crazy. Um, so here's the deal. Here's some property management. He's got a great one. He's, uh, um, down in North Carolina. Like I said, he likes the orange and black. Great photo on the side here showing a little bit more of like, uh, imagining what you can have with your property. And then he's got all of his services listed. Uh, and we're just going to run through these. So let me know which ones you guys like the most out of all these. Maybe leave me some comments. Um, Lakeview, Lakeville lawn care. 
Uh, he's got all of his services listed. This is obvious, uh, obviously a door hanger, which is really cool. I like the starting as low as $30 a, uh, a lawn. That red contrast really breaks it up. Uh, so that's kind of the first thing you attention, eye attention uh, grab, which is really cool. Um, and like it also says, free estimates, and then he takes credit cards down below. Uh, and he was actually like, hey, I borrowed your um, what, what we offer versus what the other guy offers, right? Uh, with like, we're licensed, we're insured, we're clean, we're uh, image professional. And the other guy, it's all question marks. I see a lot of you guys uh, use that on your postcard. So uh, just trying to give back to the community, man. I love it. Uh, free fall cleanup with uh, that great photo, by the way. So great high res photo with the leaves. It got leaf blowing. Um, just bold letters, simple. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy, right? By the way, when we get done with this, uh, Jonathan Florida Turf Pros, he's got a really good postcard as well out there. So um, uh, same thing, door hangers with snow removal. Okay. This is more long kid landscaping on this video, but on the backside or on another postcard, or even when you can pass out in November, December, great option is, uh, passing out a postcard for snow removal. And he's got a lot of his prices listed, which is cool. Um, another one of you guys did some painting. You were more of like an all service business. So, um, really clean image here. I like this shows the room getting painted, clean, professional image with the tarps. Um, let's keep going. SLC services guys. I love postcards. Like I, I just love reviewing and reacting to these to share them with you guys. Um, this looks really nice. You know, the only thing I do different with this lawn is try to have the grass with stripes, right? Cause it just looks like a generic lawn, but if you want to have a clean manicured lawn with some stripes, I think that would look a little bit better on this postcard, but overall he did a really good job. All right. He's got some photos on the back as well. One thing that I would do is maybe in this white uh, square in the middle, I would maybe box it in, have some contrasting gray. It'll make those photos pop. And then where all the text is, maybe uh, add some green in there just to give a little bit more color to the back. Now, another thing is postcards are a little bit more expensive, right? Uh, don't quote me exactly. These might be 20, 25 cents a pop, right? Maybe a little less if you buy in bulk. Uh, paper flyers. When you go to you know Staples or Office Max or Office Depot or your local print shop, here's what I do. I do black ink on colored paper. You know, you're looking at seven to 12 cents a flyer. If you use some coupons and some 50% off this and your rewards points, that's and certain days where they have better deals, you can get flyers for five cents to eight cents with colored paper and black ink. So if you don't have four or $500 to invest in postcards, guys, paper flyers work just as effectively. And another quick tip I can give you guys that I've talked about before is don't just pass out flyers in, you know, early March, April, when the weather is breaking, pass out flyers once a month, right? Uh, May, June, July, you can use the same flyer. August, September, October, you can maybe do a different flyer and then in the fall have a third flyer. So get creative out there. Uh, really simple stuff. This flyer is really simple. Black ink, uh, maple tree landscape. I can see that first. I like the coupon offerings down below, 10% off any landscape design, $50 off of any spring cleanup. Uh, one thing, if I was going to redo my postcard, is somewhere on here or even on the back, I would have three cutouts, which would say like free aeration, two free cuts with a uh, new sign up, and then maybe like a fertilizer author, right? Incentivize your customers because folks love coupons. Let's keep it going. Um, Maple Tree Landscape with his postcards, a little bit more uh, professional. Obviously, you can see he's upgraded. Um, the text is a little busy in the middle of this line. Um, I'd maybe simplify that uh, if you can, but overall, not a bad setup at all. Hopefully these uh, postcards are helping you guys out. Just some creative ideas and designs. Because usually here's, I don't know if you guys correlate, but here's the deal. When I was trying to make postcards 10 years ago um, until I found a local print shop, guys, I would go on like, what was it like lawn site and lawn forum. And uh, the stuff that I would see was just, awful. Like this is 10 years ago. Um, but the flyers in general, they were just, they were, they were pretty bad. It was always like made out of pink and shares and Microsoft paint. And, uh, I never really got any good design. So I'm not here to impress you with my postcards or anything like that. I just wanted to give you guys, uh, get the wheel spinning and just give you some ideas about what else is out there. Um, fall cleanup, ornamental tree pruning, gutter cleaning. I like that great services for fall. Like this is a really good postcard for fall. I like the white and orange, good contrast, dark orange looks really really clean. Looks huge. <laughs> um, the snow plowing, uh, postcard, by the way, all these guys have, you know, said, Hey, you can share this on YouTube, which I just think that's incredible. So if you guys want to pause the videos, screenshot them, don't copy them. Okay. Verbatim, take them to your local print shop, change it up a little bit. But again, this is the community coming together and helping you guys grow a more successful business. Like this is, this is really, really cool. I really appreciate folks that do this kind of stuff. Um, 
Arbor Care. So maybe got some white going on, which is a little bit more bright. I like that. The orange and green contrasts really well. Um, by the way, I've, I've told this to a couple of you guys, uh, low key, like DMing on Instagram when you guys have questions is um, when you're talking about advertising and marketing, you have to learn a little bit about advertising marketing. You can't just plop this together and hope it's cohesive. Learn about the color wheel, learn about complementary colors, learn about contrasting colors, uh, reds, yellows, uh, oranges. They, they get the attention. They grab the eyeball. Uh, blue means cold, red means hot. Uh, little simple stuff like that really does play into the psychology and the psyche. So when you see a good postcard out there, ask yourself, why is that a really good postcard? That's that's what I do. And by the way, when you're passing out your flyers, um, notice how unprofessional your competition might be. Um, when you look at when you're going through the mailboxes and um, not going through mailboxes, but when you're passing out flyers and you see the cubby and you see four other flyers, I always take them all out. I kind of rifle through them, look at them. I take some photos of what I like, what I don't like, and I put them all back in because guys, I want to be respectful. Like I'm not trying to you know steal any business from anybody else or you know jack everybody's flyers from their hustle. So I always put them back. I try to be respectful, but. Uh, most folks, they don't spend a lot of time on their marketing. You know, I've talked about this in our previous video. I'll try to leave a link here, which we talked about marketing uh, just a few days ago as well. Um, a lot of folks, their their materials don't get a lot of phone calls because it's not really good postcards and it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, so that's why we're doing this video to hopefully give you guys uh, some creative ideas. All right, let's keep it moving so we can, uh, you know, not make this a 20 minute video. Actually, I think that was it. So that was it with all the postcards. So here's just some wrap up thoughts I'll give you guys. Um, when you're talking about postcards, it is not a silver bullet. Okay, just a couple quick mindset things here. It's not a silver bullet, but I feel like postcards are the glue that kind of... Um, cohesively bring everything else in your marketing campaign together, right? I don't know too many businesses out there that don't use postcards. Now, when you use postcards, you can, um, you know, put them on the little flag, you know, you can uh, put them in the little cubby. Of course, can't do a marketing video and postcards or flyer video without talking about don't put them in the mailbox because you have to pay postage, obviously. Um, so check out EDDM might be an option for you. Uh, Send Jim might be an option for you. We're going to do a video with Send Jim uh, in about three weeks. And a lot of you guys have already given me great feedback that you can't wait to check out that service and that program. Uh, Josh Latimer, really cool stuff. Um, that being said, you know, use postcards in tandem with a marketing campaign. It's not just a silver bullet where, you know, these are going to get you uh, all the phone to ring. Here's here's the image or the idea I want to present to you guys is when you're out and about, you got to imagine that folks, they walk out of their house, they got the postcards sitting in your cubby. Oh, Brian's Law Maintenance, right? As they leave the uh, subdivision, you have a yard sign at the entrance. Oh, Brian's Law Maintenance again, right? As they go down the road, they see my rig coming into their sub to service their, uh, their house or the neighbor's house or whatever, right? And they see this huge truck going down the road with a big vinyl truck uh, enclosed trailer. It says, Brian's Law Maintenance or, you know, Josh's Lawn Care, right? And so it just keeps reinforcing. Then they get home at seven o'clock at night. They jump on their phone. They're on Facebook if they're over 40, <laughs> which is funny, uh, which by the way, most homeowners are probably 30 plus. Uh, so they jump on Facebook and you do a radius bomb targeted ad for your area. And it's, uh, you know, targeting people 40 years old. You can select their age, their income, their race, color, creed. I'm sure you can do whatever you want to do. And the cool thing is, is that now they're home at seven, eight, nine o'clock. They go on Facebook and they see your ad again. So it's like you almost can't escape that that business. That's the idea. That's the goal. That's what I call the blitzkrieg. So um, hopefully this helps you guys out. It just gets the wheels turning. Just some great ideas here. Please go back through, watch the video if you need to. Screenshot those. Take them to your print shop. By the way, get creative. Um, these are some original work. So I know these few people have probably accumulated a, thing, a lot of things that they liked to make their postcard. But please, guys, change it up a little bit. Don't just copy them verbatim out there if you can. These folks uh, graciously made their postcards available. So that's all I would say is just get creative and change some things up so it's a little bit more unique for your business. Last thing I would say is, like I said at the beginning of the video, is that uh, with Jonathan with Florida Turf Pros, he's got a part two of this video, which is really cool, uh, talking about business mindset and advertising and marketing in general. So run over to his channel, check it out. I think you guys will really, really like it. Hey, by the way, if you watch all the way to the end, this is why you watch all the way to the end. Just so you guys know, the lawn agreement form that we gave away last year, uh, that was actually in a PDF and I think like two to 3000 of you guys downloaded, hang tight. We got about another two weeks or so. And I'm going to make that also available for you guys again this year. I've completely gutted the form, completely redid it. And it's going to be a downloadable 
editable Word document for all of you guys that want to send out an inquiry form at the beginning of the season. Um, that's what I use for my business. We send a hundred of those out. We get a hundred of them back, well, 80 of them back, right? Uh, and it gives us exactly what all the services are that we're going to be able to take care of for our clients and books our whole calendar out six months in advance. It's amazing. I'm going to have that available for you guys completely free, free to download, free resource to give back to you guys. Super appreciate you supporting me. It's a great resource that I can do to support you guys. So keep an eye on launchpreneuracademy.com. That's where you guys can find it. So, all right, guys, get out of here. Go check out Jonathan Florida Turf Pros. If you guys enjoyed the video, shoot a big thumbs up. You already know what to do. Appreciate you guys watching the channel. And um, hey, pray for us so that we get some snow around here, man. If not, I'm just going to have to make videos all day. All right, guys, that's it. Over and out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you guys on the next one.